delay at Bush Intercontinental Airport as NASA, Space Center Houston, and Houston leaders celebrate 50 years since man first set foot on the moon. The Army band from Fort Hood joining in and the director of NASA's Johnson Space Center plotting the plan to return to the moon now 47 years since the last mission. To be a part of the team that's making it happen, a return to the moon, uh, it's really an honor. Well, it's really special for me because the moon landing was actually what inspired me to become an astronaut. I was nine years old when I watched them walk on the moon, and I thought, wow, cool job. I want that. Peggy Whitson went on to become the NASA chief astronaut, completing a total of 10 spacewalks and 665 days in space, the U.S. record, before retiring. But never went to the moon. Did you want to do that? Oh, absolutely. That is what, you know, as I said, it really inspired me. And I bet I'm ready to sign up for the trip to go back. 2024, right? I'm ready. The vice president kind of gave us a charge and said, hey, I want to see us on the service of the moon by 2024. Every one of us that works at NASA is trying to be a part of the Artemis mission to put the first woman and the next man on the moon in 2024. The excitement, I can't understate the excitement. Current astronaut Reed Wiseman basking in the celebration of 50 years since America beat Russia in the space race. There is so much excitement not just in this town, but across the country. And an even bigger celebration will be this Saturday. July 20th marks the day 50 years ago when Neil Armstrong became the first man to step foot on the moon. Space Center Houston will have special events for that celebration. From Bush Intercontinental Airport, Ivory Hacker, Fox 26 News.